Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the Apple style activity rings in Sketch. So let's get started. As we see in the video, there are three rings. The green ring has a shadow at the end that seems to be sitting on top of the other end of the ring. So let me show you exactly how to create this in Sketch. Let's press A from the keyboard to bring the artboard to. From the right in the inspector, I'm going to select the iPhone 8 Plus template. I'm going to select the artboard and go to the desktop to drag a screenshot I took from my iPhone. Let's drag the image away from the artboard. This is the screenshot and these are the rings we are going to create here inside Sketch. To begin, I'm going to press O from the keyboard to create an oval. I'm going to press Shift to constrain the proportion. I'll go to the inspector and uncheck the fill. I'll go to the thickness and change it to 36. With the circle selected, I'm going to press Command C to copy and Command V to paste two copies of the circle. I'll select the first circle and rename this to outer. I'll change the second to middle and the last to inner. With this done, I'll select the middle and press Alt and Shift to drag this in order to resize it to create something like that. I'll select the outer one, I'll press Alt and Shift and resize it to something like that. Let's change the color of each of the rings. Let's select the outer layer. I'm going to select the eyedropper and sample a color from the image. I'll select the middle layer and choose the eyedropper. I'm going to select the green color. Let's select the inner layer and do the same. Now let's begin cutting the rings. Let's select the outer layer and press enter to go into vector editing mode. We can pick the scissor tool and cut each part. I'm going to cut this size of the ring just by clicking. You can see from the screenshot that the end of the ring are rounded. To achieve this, let's select the ring and click on this gear icon. We are going to select the joints and choose the round end. And that rounds the ends of the ring. Let's select the inner ring and press enter to go into vector editing mode. With this, I'm going to cut just 25% of the ring. I'll select the scissor tool and just click here to cut. With the layer still selected, I'm going to round the edges of the ring by clicking on the gear icon and choose the join and the round ends. As you can see from the screenshot, the green ring has an end with a shadow that seems to be sitting on top of the other end of the ring. So let's see how to achieve this. I'm going to select the green ring and press Command C to copy. I'll press Command V to paste and rename the layer to shadow. With the shadow layer selected, I'm going to press Enter to go into vector editing. If I hover on the ring, you can see I have the pen tool. I'm going to click here to define another anchor point and select the scissor tool to cut the unwanted part that I don't need. To see the part which is left, let's go to the inspector and change the color to something like that. I'm going to click on this gear icon to round the edges of this part as well. I'm going to select join and choose the round. Now I'm going to add a shadow to the selected layer by clicking on this icon. As you can see, we have the shadow already created. And the shadow is positioned at both ends. We can adjust the shadow using the X, Y, Play and the Spread values. Let's select the X and we can use the top arrow to move it to the position that we want. I'll select the Y and also move the shadow a bit like that. As you can see, the top part of the shadow has disappeared. Now I'm going to change the blur file by increasing it a bit. And that completes our activity ring created in Sketch. I'm going to select the artboard and click background color. I'm going to
to change it from white and choose black or select all the layers by pressing shift and press command G to group I'll rename this to rings and with this I'm done so this is how to create the apple style activity rings in sketch if you find this video useful please like and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching